Welcome to the Porn Stars of People podcast. I'm Dan Trickle. I'm here with Raquel Roper. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for. Uh, can, can I can I tell them where we are? Well, my I mean, humble abode. In your lair. <laughs> my la- I like that. It is a right? layer, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> it feels like a layer. There's, there's some interesting stuff. Uh, what now? Who who's who's doing the decorating here? Um, it's a combined effort between me and my boyfriend. Um, all the really nerdy shit is yeah. primarily mine. <laughs> so we're looking at there's like a bunch of like anime yes, level those, stuff that I don't have all, any knowledge about. <laughs> those are all mine from Japan when we went to Japan. Same um, thing over here is some sort of. Yeah, it's just um, I don't know. It's nerd chic is what I like to call it. OK. <laughs> yeah, I guess. We, you know, well, yeah. When we do something weird with our life, we just we uh, we like try to rename it so that it's like, OK, yes. you're like, yeah, no, no, no. I just I just don't flush uh, when I when I go pee because <laughs> I'm, I'm being green. That's what you know. That's who I am as a person. Yeah, it's nerd chic. Yeah. I mean, being a nerd is kind of like in now. I don't oh, know it's when totally it happened. Oh, totally in now. I don't know why or how, yeah. but it's like the same people who are making fun of me for being a nerd suddenly it's socially acceptable yeah, now. Yeah, they're on board. <laughs> yeah, what's uh what's what's amazing? Yeah, I, I was I mean, I wasn't in college anymore, but every once in a while you come up with these little theories you're like, "Oh, this would be a great like college thesis paper to write." But so when we were, I don't know, I'm I'm in my 30s. I don't know how old you are. 24. So when I was coming up, all of the characters in in uh, movies and TV were like Steve Urkel and all these people that were nerds and we were like, "Those are the people you made fun of and the jocks were the cool people." And now it's reversed. Like the jocks and are like the bullies and that's bad and it's like it's not good and the nerds are all the cool kids now. Yeah, exactly. I don't I don't know. It's I mean, I, I have a love for it and I have a hate for it because I mean, I've been into this shit for years. Yeah. And before oh, you don't like that people are in your are in your game. Yeah, now. they're invading my. Yeah. They're invading yeah. <laughs> it's my no, character. I knew. First. I was a nerd. <laughs> this is mine. No, now you're making me sound like an elitist. <laughs> no, that's cool. No, but no, you're you're not wrong. Uh, it's cool. Oh, I just realized there's a weapon here. There's a there's there's an there Excalibur. That's, uh, no, that's John uh John Snow's oh, sword. Okay. So I don't follow Game of Thrones at all. I haven't gotten involved. It's too much of a commitment in my life right now. You know, <laughs> I have a dog. I'm doing comedy. <laughs> Somebody, I'm interviewing porn stars, you know, like how much more time and energy do I have in my life? So I haven't been watching the show. I only have a couple shows I watch, uh, but I did catch this sub. The subplot recently was uh, Jon Snow. And this is all I know. Jon Snow and then someone else in the cast who's uh, basically related to him. Oh, right? uh, Khaleesi. And they the were like, and they were like, and they were like about to hook up or whatever. No, they did. Right. And so, <laughs> but it was like, this is, so I was on the road when this was happening. So I thought this would be a fun joke. It, then the joke would be that I get a text from my buddy right around the time that this episode is like happening. And my buddy texts me, uh, dude, I never rooted for incest so hard in my whole life. <laughs> Right. And it's and just that fun idea. And like, you know, and the crowd knows that I'm talking about Game of Thrones. And then uh, the, the you know, the turn would be this idea that like later on in the week, I find out that he doesn't watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> like he had some other incest going on in his life that he was trying to, that, you know, that he was internalizing and letting me know about. So, yeah, there's not there's not generally incest being portrayed uh, on, on on mainstream. Ma- I was about to say, ma- I, had to fin- la- I had to correct you. Mainstream. I've seen plenty of these uh, fucking your sister things now. It's mainstream, a big thing. where they and where they they don't and they're not rooting for it usually. So this is yeah, it's they're an kind of change. hitting the taboo category. Yeah, well, they're. Th- What's fun about putting stuff in uh, so far back, and I don't know what's the what's supposed to be the timeline of Game of Thrones. <sighs> I mean, I don't. It's it's a fantasy world, so if I would probably compare it to, it's like mi- it's medieval. It's like yeah. medieval time, but it's in a fantasy. Like right. there's. El- so they have those two things uh, like of cover, exactly. Where they're like, no, 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 he's fucking his aunt, but like, well, it's because cool because it's that time period. It was acceptable. Yeah. It was you usually fucked your brother, right. married your brother, right. reproduced with right. your... Right, because you, you needed to keep the royal exactly. line. Exactly, royal yeah. bloodline. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so, okay, <laughs> so, they're, so, they're, so they're, like, in that little, they're in that little umbrella of, like, no, it's cool, because it's, like, it's fine. It's also, and, and then, and then if, and then if people were, like, it's not cool, they go, fuck you, it's made up. All of this is made up. That's my... So they have these two umbrellas. Yeah, that's my opinion in regards to, like, people's opinion on, like, taboo porn, like, taboo, uh, you know... Fucking your father, yeah. you know. I just think it, it's a. Fantasy. Do people get do people get offended? No, I I don't get to be on this side of the. Um, actually, I would say that people get offended when they like don't understand in regards to like 
vanilla non-porn people i'm sure these themes are still pretty obscure to them but yeah. like in my world it's just like oh so i have to do another video where yeah i'm telling so and so to go fuck their sister or, you know so and so it's just like it's a fantasy i like to think i'm keeping people from actually yeah. fucking their relatives yeah right isn't that <laughs> isn't that the goal right like oh it, it looks like but it's not and it's a thing yeah i don't I have I'm I'm also I'm lucky enough that I don't uh, I <laughs> I just came to this uh, conclusion the other day I I don't listen to the to the the dialogue in porn I I, I do when I when I when I consume porn I have the sound off. Well, if we're talking about I mean this is so I don't so I don't even know that they're if what we're the talking relationship about fake is straight up gonzo porn I wouldn't say you're missing much in regards to right. the dialogue sure uh, <laughs> I mean this is no offense I mean there's definitely some companies in porn that really it's like a major movie production sure yeah, yeah yeah no no, um, no. And, and I'm, I'm sure there's some some beautifully written porns oh yeah but, definitely but then there's that but masturbation for me has <laughs> always been in in a house of people or in an apartment complex I live in I live in New York City I live in Hoboken and uh, so I, I don't want them to hear it that makes sense. I mean, for me personally, I have always been really open about like watching porn, playing porn. Yeah. I mean. Well, I mean, look, <laughs> you live and you don't necessarily. I mean, you have neighbors, but they're a couple houses away, whatever. So it's like you can. Oh, our, our neighbors know what we do. They hate <laughs> us. They absolutely hate us. Well, that was the other thing is is somebody asked me. They were like, "Well, what do you?" So then, do you want your sex to be really quiet? I'm like, "No," because like the neighbors are allowed to hear that I have sex because that's I'm having sex. Yeah. I want them to be like. Well, that neighbor, that neighbor on that side knows what we do. We've had the cops called on us two or three times. And what do they? The cops come over. Um, and- the cops come over. Well, what I think that they're doing is this is just my theory because of how quick the cops come over and how many cops came. I think that they're pulling the. It's very common when, as an industry person, and your neighbors find out that they pull the. I think there's underage kids involved car right. to get the authorities involved yeah. because like, because the last time that they called, there was six cops outside of my door. Yeah. They came within 10 minutes and they were, and even after, well, me and him, we lied. We said we were just fucking and that was it. We didn't yeah. need to explain the whole, yeah. Oh, it was literally, I had somebody tied up. They were getting tickled and they were screaming and going like, Oh my God. Oh no. Yeah. And so, you know, whatever. Oh, that's funny. But what's funny is it's like, their kids scream bloody fucking murder right. all throughout the. You should call, you should call the cops on them. Yeah, I think these. Exactly. I think, I think these they're guys beating are beating their children. I think they're beating them. I think they're uh, tickling. I don't know what's going on. There's children well, the last yelling. Time, uh, the last time we had interaction was actually a week ago, a week or two ago. Me and my friend Goddess Flora, we had um, our sa- our friend Fluffy, who is our um, somebody that does video slave work for us. We were literally beating him. Like, yeah beating yeah. the shit out of him and he was you know Loving screaming it. and i was like fuck so i cut and i was like i know that she's gonna get pissed off so i went to the back and i grabbed a gag put it in his mouth continue no. the beating <laughs> so we hear <laughs> through the wall you guys need to cut that shit out we're outside and we don't want to hear that like through yeah. the wall yeah. she's talking yeah. to us you should move lady <laughs> yeah so so how long so how long have you lived here and how long have they lived there uh well I just um me and my boyfriend have only been together from uh, for about a year this is his house yeah so I don't I know that he's had multiple interactions yeah. with them um we have like a deal going on now where <laughs> we stop filming at about like five five six o'clock that's like the cutoff okay. that we have with yeah them. it's a it's a fair yeah. deal um it's a little trade off yeah so they, and they don't call the cops no they don't call the cops and, and you stop doing at five yeah and then exactly. and, you know and then you maybe maybe you slip them some free content. <laughs> You know what? It's always the wife. It's yeah. never the. It's never yeah, the yeah, husband. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's yeah. never the husband. Yeah. It's See, I don't know. Yeah, wife. and you probably don't want. You probably don't want the neighbors to have the content. Like I, like I, I, uh, I had a friend um, who was like pretty brilliant, and she she was a camera, and she she had figured out that, and I don't know if this is true to all the sites, but she was in a position where she was blocking. IP addresses within like a hundred or oh, two hundred miles. Oh, I know, I know a lot of a lot so of that, cam girls that do that. So that she couldn't interact with any yeah, people. Yeah, it's a There's very no it's a very common thing yeah. actually for cam girls to regional block. Yeah, uh, I I think 
I know almost all of my friends that are serious yeah. about girls do it. Just get them It's out. just to pro- protect themselves. For they sure. don't want to deal with, yeah. you know, the bullshit and everything. Even me, I still get a little like, oh, um, when I get video sales from like St. Petersburg. Yeah. Like, St. Peter's small. You're right. And I'm pretty active in regards to going out. I so much don't. Oh, customs you're talking about. Uh, No, I mean, like when somebody buys. One oh, of somebody my videos, buys it. I can okay. see where, right, they're, right, uh, right. where they're located. Right. at. So when I get video sales from either St. Peter, Tampa, I'm like, oh, God, what high school friend of mine right. is jerking off to my Sure, <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you're from here originally? Yeah, I'm from Tampa. Okay, interesting. So yeah. uh, I actually, it was pretty funny. But I you got to get your fans where you can. Yeah, no, you but know? I actually, it's pretty funny because I had somebody that I used to go to middle school with contact me on Instagram and basically it was a foot fetish fan and he runs like a foot fetish site. So I had no way to identify who this person was, no visual, but they messaged me and they said, did you go to, you know, so-and-so middle school? Yeah. And I was like, yes, why? And he said, well, because I used to sit next to you in eighth grade and I always thought you were really hot. Yeah. And, I'll, and in my head, I'm this like, also oh, is like, this is, this is also of- like what you say to somebody. You know what I mean? Like, this is like, this was, this is what uh, Bill Murray says to that woman in Groundhog Day to convince her to eventually sleep with him. Was- <laughs> Was he uses that pressure like, no, I said next to you in English class. Come on. Remember? Yeah, no. But then he sent me a photo of him yeah. and he really d- like I that remember him. him. Yeah. But the thing is, is I particularly remember him being an asshole to me and me well, having well, to like start. Well, of course, it's that teenage boy. Yeah, no, oh, it's not even that. You don't know. Like, no, it's <laughs> like, but you also don't like you don't know what you're doing. Like when you're like when you're that age, you don't know what you're doing. Like I was very shy and that came off to people like I thought I was better than everybody. Yeah. So like I and I didn't know what my effect was on people. Yeah. So well, I'm going to give him a, I'm going to give him a little bit of a hall pass. I like to think that maybe I had some influence on his like uh, sexuality. Cause yeah. He likes foot yeah. Because we used to go back and forth in school and I remember him particularly because, you know, we He'd be go through the hall. He would like say some catty remark, yeah. and I'd like jab him. You no, know? you you, <laughs> you have fucked this dude up. Yeah, I don't know. So shit. That's why I was like, oh, it's like and a whole he had other a crush level. On me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's all we know he what to do. It. We just shove. We just push <laughs> girls down. That's all we know. We're allowed to. And then when we find out in our like twenties and thirties that we're even allowed to choke them, we're like, we could have been doing that. The whole time we could have been choking him when we were when we were kids. Oh, I I do the male choke. I choke the males. The I, males don't from choke what I'm me. starting to understand <laughs> is that everybody likes to be choked. That's what I. I guess it's like a uni- It's a universal. I yeah. mean, choking somebody. There's something very empowering about literally wrapping your hands yeah. around somebody's throat and cutting off their oxygen. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, I've never. Yeah, I don't go that. I don't go that far either, giving or receiving. <laughs> I'm just. Yeah. I sometimes I get like. Oh, stop! That doesn't even mean that you're into choking. If you just do a little squeeze. No, sometimes. That's no, and, I, and I'm not saying I'm the one who's into it. I'm saying that I'm saying that I find that I'm the one being asked to do it, and then and then it's tough because then sometimes I feel masculine because like a, like I can't choke enough, and I'm like <laughs> this is all I got. I, uh, you know how hard it is to try and kill you and try and fuck you at the same time. That's a that's hard work. <laughs> it really is. So. It's tough. It's a tough. It's a tough thing. So you got to give the guy a break. So what happened? So is he is he a fan now? Or are you guys in? Are you guys? No, he's. I guess. Are you he, cool? I. I mean, I guess he's a fan. He still follows me on Instagram yeah. and stuff. But that was the end of the interaction. You're like, oh yeah, I remember. I punched you in the stomach. Bye. I was like, <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Thanks. Keep buying my videos. Yeah, fuck but it. he's an Instagram fan, so the chances of, of him actually. Buying my porn is probably slimmed enough. Yeah. He probably doesn't really buy it. It's a different probably fan just base. Probably there and just jerks off to my photos. Yeah. Well. Well, look. Instagram, um, for me personally, is a a lot of the fans just like my pictures and they follow me on there, and it's not. I don't really interact with a lot of people that I feel like really purchase the content. Yeah. You know, because I've gotten a lot of DMs like, oh well, I saw some of your videos on Pornhub, and I'm like, get the fuck. <laughs> like, yeah. So basically, you're telling me you're a freeloader. <laughs> yeah, I think. Well, I don't know how to speak for the average porn consumer, but uh, you know, I think. Yeah, because of what's come of porn, the fact that you can get it for free on the internet, I think a lot of people don't know that that's disrespectful, right? Oh, like, it's totally. I mean, it's the same. It's like the big feud in regards to like. I would like to think that Pornhub is like the Nabster. That was okay. to the music industry. Right, so you guys are pissed off about it. <laughs> well, because well, but all it's done, all it honestly has done, is it, it's taken because those are those are supposed to be samplers for for the video, right? Or are these rips that are no, that are, that um, are you not... have consumers that will rip 
entire videos yeah. and put them on Pornhub. Okay, so like I, I just took, I just sent DMCA issue takedowns for about seventy videos no within the past two, three days. Oh, and that's some crazy. Are, some videos are videos that I like just released yeah. the other day, so yeah. they haven't even been able to get. So the, somebody earn bought the money it, back. Yeah. ripped it, and, and then released yeah. it. Got it. Okay. I wish I had that problem. I wish so. I just put out an album. I'm just having. I'm just trying to get people to download it all. Like I don't, you know. You don't I, care I, if they buy it. Yeah, for you free can have it for free. <laughs> just, just mass DM me. I'll send it for free. Nobody's yeah. Nobody's ripping my stuff, and I'm not like, and I don't have to send things to be. Hey, listen, you really, you really can't release my content. <laughs> just take it. Take my content. But no, you, you, I get it. <laughs> Yeah, uh, no, I want people to buy. You it. definitely want people <laughs> to buy it, but so, but that you know, that's I think from a consumer standpoint, I think we don't understand uh, on some level because they've they've given us these little these little things. So we've learned how to like stack ten videos and jerk off to like ten second videos. Well, it's also because I don't like. I think everybody is under the assumption that we're like making tons of money. Like oh they're, you gotta, they're shooting you know, listen, you porn gotta, you 24 gotta, seven. You got a fucking uh, Excalibur. In your oh house, yeah, you know as, <laughs> as, as you can see, I just live in an absolute. You just kill it. Palace. I mean, look, I have know? money just <laughs> falling from the ceiling. You got these anime <laughs> dolls, you know. I mean, what are we talking about here? You got a couple broken blinds. <laughs> Just buy her video. We'll get her some blinds. That's all I'm saying. We'll get some. This is from this is from you looking at the cops. Is what this is. No, that's it. It's yeah. You're like it's oh, like my little creeper hole. Yeah, you're like oh, who's at the I, fucking and I door? Watch, yeah, you know? that's and what see, I do. and then you're like, it's the cops. <laughs> shush, shush your tickling ass mouth. So that's fun. So that's cool. Okay, so outside of this, what do you like? What do you? How do you? blow off steam what do you do what are you into like what's your like everybody has like a um i think like some kind of ideology that they think is like the key to the universe um, whether it be yoga or like eating differently like what's your thing i mean it sounds really it's not horrible but i mean my our you know me and my boyfriend's job consumes so much yeah. of our life that it's kind of like we don't have too much free time yeah um this is the only job that we have uh i shoot we shoot models all the time almost every single day uh, so at the end of the day, I try to stray away from like social media. I'm not really like my own personal life. I don't have a face. Uh, I mean, I do have a Facebook for my family, but yep. I'm not active on it. Yeah. I don't have my own personal Instagram. I'm very anti social media outside of, yeah. you know, my job. I have this and I have this debate a lot with and, and it, it's a very different like there's a level of secrecy and, and, and anonymity that you need in your thing for safety. Right. Uh, mine is a different level, but I've had this this debate a lot with people in my personal life where it's like, look, obviously w what I'm trying to do is get to a level where there's a notoriety behind what I'm mm -hmm. doing. People know who I am, know that I know that I'm doing comedy, what I'm you know, what what the thing is that I do. And so when I don't put somebody that I'm dating or that I'm with or is in my life on those social media platforms, they get upset and they think that it's like it's shady or it's like, you know, that I'm trying to like attract other people. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not in an industry where like being sexy is valuable. I mean, it's a little <laughs> bit in comedy, but like that's not those people are not. That's not what's going to buy, you know, people buy tickets because they want to like, you know, be in the same room with me because, I'm you know, it's it's just a different thing. So I don't know. I think my favorite comedian is Jim Jeffries and I think he's pretty hot. Yeah. Well, you, I mean, you <laughs> You also have an accent in the house here, so it's an <laughs> accent thing for I you. I have, like, an accent thing. I don't know. <laughs> it's really but, funny, though, because uh, speaking of that, people, um, they think it's really interesting uh, that I'm a female and Jim Jeffries is my favorite comedian yeah. because Why? he's very – his comedy leans more, can be seen as kind of misogynistic but, at times. But it's but, just like, no, it's just – it's comedy. It's a fucking yeah, you, joke. Yeah, like, it's <laughs> like you put it in a scope, and once you're in that scope, then the jokes, like, center around that scope. His scope is that. It doesn't mean that that's – that's who he is and that's what he believes right it, it doesn't mean that that's who he is in his heart and uh i just like that he uses the word cunt all the time that's uh, so fun <laughs> it, it, well it's so fun it's so fun because because it, it's a word that in australia in england uh oh, in uh, ireland in australia it means, is not it means nothing a big deal it's it means not a nothing deal. they say it like oh it's it's hilarious like when you he silly goes little back home, cunt it's incredible back home it's like they just throw yeah, it around that's the word like it's a that's ball. the word that they use um yeah it's something something's great about that <laughs> but from you know i want that tiny i want just want that little bit of a bubble of my life where it's like this isn't on social media and and i try yeah. to make that the, the important person in my life and then that, that's hard to try to explain to somebody well fetish is just it's so much of my life outside of the job you know i i'm a fetish lifestylist yeah. like this is what i'm into off camera yeah. so that's why it consumes so much of my world right 
Uh, that's what I like to do in my free time. I like to go to fetish events. I like to, you know, mingle with the community and everything. Uh, but other than that, I just like anime. Yeah. That's about it. And yeah. I, I love is now, music. Is there, a, so do you go to Comic-Con then? Uh, in New York Comic-Con. Well, whatever. Um, I don't I know. Like, What's the closest one to here? Well, I like, an- like, I'm not into, for instance, like Spider-Man, stuff like that. Yeah. That's more Western comics. Yeah. I like Eastern comics, like Japanese. I like to go to anime conventions. So where is that? Oh, well, there's like MetroCon down here. Okay. There's MegaCon. There's a few conventions that you can go to. I just really love playing dress up. In my videos, I try to implement a lot of me taking form of a character. Okay. And doing. I love to act. That's just why I kind of started yeah. doing this in the yeah. first place. Were you a drama uh, nerd? Oh, definitely. My mom, oh, so my mom swears. I mean, my mom knows what I do, but she always said when I was younger that she saw me as an actress. Yeah. I guess she just didn't know what kind. Yeah. <laughs> well, what's interesting is, and, and I don't mean this as disrespect to anybody who would be listening, but, but what I find is that dancers, actors, actresses, these are people that are more in touch with their sexuality and their bodies as mm-hmm. well. So it's like they have a they have a very similar mindset as the people that I've met in this industry where it's just like sometimes – sex sometimes these things sometimes uh, you know fantasies and these types of relationships sometimes they're just in passing sometimes it's just it's just it's just in the moment and that's mm-hmm. important and that's and that's great and like there's like a freedom to to that type of personality versus you know somebody let's just use Iowa as an example who just has the rules in their head that they think is supposed to and you know these are the places where sex is supposed to take place and in the circumstances well I just think naturally creative people are a little bit more sexual because of the way that your brain works creatively you think of things more in depth therefore your sexuality is I most creative people I meet are into some pretty yeah, uh, interesting things. Yeah, well, and I think, <laughs> and I, but I think it. I think it's that. It's that everything's an experience. Yeah, you know. Well, that's. And I mean, like, sec- there's just so much to learn in regards to sexuality and sexual expression that yeah. it is in itself a creative journey. Uh, especially through doing this, I've learned a lot about things that I was I didn't know I was into yeah. until I started doing them. Right, and then all and of there's a sudden, a, and there's like a and there's an arc. Yeah, of things that. In your life, you're going to be into, and then it, it's going to open up. Sometimes it'll close back off, and then yeah. it's like, you know, the, the your tastes change. Just exactly. Like, it's just growth. It's yeah. just like anything. You're yeah. not necessarily into the same things that you were when you were at a certain yeah. age. And then, you know, that's why uh, it's pretty interesting. But I get – I recently have completely changed my career direction path. Um, when I first started shooting a fetish and f- adult performer, I used to do mainstream adult porn. Yeah. And uh, basically, I did it in regards to the money was nice. I liked the, you know, the increase in income. But it was mainly because, you know, I was a very, like, almost, I don't want to say prude. Um, <laughs> yeah. I was a late bloomer you when it came call, to sexuality. Prude, yeah. So before I started. We I got it. You said you were a nerd. <laughs> you got the anime. We I got it. I actually started doing uh, the vanilla porn just because I had never really had, like, too much sex. Yeah. So it was my way of, like, oh, well, I can have sex and make money kind of thing. But yeah. Because I always had these fetishes, and that's why I didn't have sex is because I was a fetishist. And I couldn't – I was too nervous about, you know, opening myself up with it, you know, so to speak. So when I originally started, I did a lot of mainstream porn and uh, in regards to, you know, like vanilla porn. uh, And then – so I – Learned a lot about myself through that. I learned that for me, vanilla sex is boring. Yeah. That's why I don't shoot it anymore. Yeah. Um, and then when I got deeper into fetish, I learned a lot about myself in regards to what I was into because I have literally shot every fucking fetish you could possibly think of, probably. Yeah. Mostly. We were going back and forth on, on Twitter, actually. We were, we, I was making up stuff that I thought wasn't that I, that wasn't things, but every time you make up a thing it's that you think is it's a thing. A fetish. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, he was telling me that that uh, that that uh, a hair a hair hand job is is very much a thing oh yeah very no, much no it is uh <laughs> we've actually shot some of those custom videos and they want to the the girl to jerk wrap it around the hair and then they want the come in the hair you gotta come in the hair yeah, yeah. of course well, i mean that's that's obviously where that's it gonna just end sounds like a fucking nightmare in regards to the receiving end i don't know i don't <laughs> i don't I, yeah i don't i don't get come i don't get my come i don't get other people's come on me so i don't i don't no, know yeah, i don't know the level uh, of of cleanup it takes i you no know? longer get come on me which is nice <laughs> i just make people eat their own gum yeah that's uh what yeah. is what is the what's the term for this? Uh, cum eating. It's just cum eating. Isn't it? Pe- what's pegging? Pegging is when you uh fuck a guy in the ass. 
That's just pe- no. For the strap on. No, that's no, pegging. Then, that's it. Yes. Okay. Pegging that, is fucking. Again. Listen, yes, th- I got a whole on. crew of people that are just yelling at the podcast now because I have no information. <laughs> I, 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 and I'm I'm interviewing parts and I don't know what I don't know what anything fuck is a called. Guy in the ass with a strap on. Oh, I thought it's one of my favorite. It's probably one of my biggest fetishes. But that stems from the fact that I used to when I was a teenager. My first introduction to porn was I used to watch gay porn. That's yeah, so all I used to well, watch. So, so I was talking about this the other day because I was an extra in a gay porn, and the whole the whole scene. This is like a long time ago. Just somebody was in the thing, and it was like uh, a couple bucks. I said sure, uh, and I didn't have to be involved mm-hmm. in anything. And it was uh, the scene was straight guy with his girl, and uh, he spots other guy and then it, it's like this thing where oh, he's straight but he's <laughs> fucking the guy and I was like I just thought that was interesting that this is like the angle on it so my question is if that's the thing that you're into do you want is is the fantasy that he's not enjoying it no I mean no no not for me personally I mean I shoot videos where the guy is not enjoying it um I do do strap on with people that you know they think oh yeah i want to be fucked in the ass and then when it actually happens you're like oh wait maybe not um no for me it's just the act itself there's something in my brain since i was younger that i have had arousal of the idea of a guy getting fucked in the ass now i started i thought you were gonna say that you want to fuck something no i want to fuck because as a dude it's fun to fuck stuff yeah, no. We it's fucked everything. As it's, kids, we I fucked everything. To, we fucked couch cushions. I, I like the idea of having a dick and fucking a guy. I mean, not even. It even goes deeper. I just, I got, I just like fucking people in the ass. Yeah. Girl, guy, I just don't care. Well, if uh, it's l- a butt, I well, let's fuck let's it. bring let's bring it back <laughs> let's bring it back around to the to the PG level of things. Um, <laughs> Because I have been getting a lot of these flagged on on the YouTube. Me and oh. me and Sylvia Sage were talking about poop oh, dicks, and it wow. got it got yeah. they got flagged. YouTube so it, would not like this conversation. So let's, so let's bring it back. Who oh. wouldn't? YouTube. Yeah, YouTube's YouTube's, not into it. YouTube is putting the iron fist. Yeah, I don't know. And on I don't, YouTube and content creators. Yeah, I don't know what the yeah I don't know what the I'm marks really are. I know that you can't show watching, a nipple. You can't show really a nipple big on into Instagram. Watching vlogs and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, online and a lot of people are getting demonetized because for uh past couple years it was uh really easy to make income off youtube and people were making millions of dollars off of making uh youtube videos right there was like uh pewdiepie yeah was like killing it and then he said some things yeah he was like the number one guy and so he got demonetized yeah and so basically he can no longer make money ad revenue money off of his youtube videos anymore so then he has to find money that he can get yeah sponsored exactly you can get whatever i mean but. you can get you get demonetized like you used to be able to in, for instance if you were like a weed smoker and you lived in a legal recreational yeah. state you used to be able to smoke weed on your now youtube you channel now you can't you get demonetized oh, wow. even if you know that you're in a legal state because they don't know yeah you know what i'm saying so you because it could go either way you could just you could just have a colorado yeah, your flag video instantly gets demonetized interesting See, I love that you guys. Yeah, you guys have all this information. Like, I didn't know. Like, I didn't even. I never. It never occurred to me that. Like, so Twitter is kind of where everybody hangs in this in this industry because yeah, the, except the, Twitter is very anti sex su- worker. Well, it sucks, but the, but it's also but it's the place where you can act where you can post these things. Yeah. Well, you they can't just post started it on doing. Instagram. You but they just started Facebook. doing this thing where Twitter uh, is shadow banning adult performers. What does that mean? Basically, if let's say you weren't following me on Twitter. Yeah. If you went to go search for me on Twitter, right. it wouldn't come Hilarious. up. Hilarious. This it is what I, this is the problem I'm having. Now, e- now, even when I'm following people, and now I, I keep running into the problem where I've tried to combine accounts and all of the things, mm-hmm. and I, I got really good at Facebook when it, was, when it first came out, so I have all kinds of followers on Facebook and all kinds of friends. So then when you try to add all your friends uh, on Twitter and on Instagram, there's a, there's a max, there's a limit. So I hit the limits on all the things, so I can't add any more people uh, on on Twitter until I get more followers, and on and on Instagram you just can't follow any more yeah. than seventy five hundred people. So I'm following people, and I'm ha- and I'm tagging people, and then I I go to search for them in in the in the Twitter app, and I can't find them. These yeah, are people that I, that, I, that are that are in my episode, and we go you know. And we and we've tagged each other stuff, and I can't find them. I have yeah. to go. I have to go to an outside. I have to go to Google, Google it, and then Twitter find it. Twitter is shadow banning. Uh, Interesting. Any, any uh, account that has displayed any kind of adult activity, adult anything, and <laughs> but they're not. But they're not disabling the accounts. Well, they're they are suspending and deleting a lot of Interesting. accounts. Interesting. Uh, they're they're really becoming a lot more strict and kind of trying to weed out the adult industry. But the really ironic thing about that is. 
I'm I kind of pay attention in regards to the analytics of social media. Yeah. Twitter is on the decline. Right. It's they're right. losing yeah. money they're all the not, time. Yeah, they're not the even adult the industry. We are one of the only industries that still uses and uses Twitter yeah. actively. Yeah. So they're generating oh, income because of yeah. us. And right. so they're trying to make it harder. Right. So they're just stabbing themselves right. basically. Right. They're, yeah. They're just, they're just cutting the, they're, 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 they're tying off the other vein. And exactly. Just them, so, you know, I mean, the- it, if they want to sink their own ship, you know, that's, that's fine by me, but it's just, it's kind of ironic because like, you know, you brought up Instagram. Instagram is very anti adult work too, because they're owned by Facebook. Yeah. Uh, Facebook just bought Instagram. Yeah. Re- pretty recently. Uh, my stuff gets flagged on Instagram all the time, yeah. even though I don't do nudity or anything like right. that. But I actually, they have disabled me from being able to type in my uh, website. I didn't even know that they were able to do that. Now, anytime that I try to type my website underneath like a caption, yeah. it shows it blank. Like, Every oh, wow. every single time, so okay. I have to do this thing where. So whenever there's a weird thing like that that happens, uh, that's that's by design. That's some, yeah. somebody's in no, control. No, it's of that. them. They're trying to censor the content. Yeah, because I've had I've had pro- you know I have had situations. Yeah. They're similar getting, to but that. they're getting absolutely strict because I recently I put up a picture the other day and it got like 600 likes and it was me sitting up like this with my feet in the air. No, I wasn't nude. Yeah. I wasn't wearing anything bad. It was just me with my feet in the air, was, and they removed it twice because yeah. I tried to upload it again. Because yeah. I was like, "What the fuck?" You're like, "Yeah, this is not this is not yeah. overtly sexual." No, it wasn't. Uh, no nudity, no anything, yeah. and they just they would not, you know, just spread for the for those of you listening. Uh, she just she spread her feet. She did. A little, <laughs> she, did a, she did a little foot spread. I don't. Do they, is it there, was a foot spread. Do yeah. they call it? Is that what they call yeah, it? I, I was spreading my toes. Actually, I think in that picture I was scrunching, so I had some wrinkle action were, going on. That's a scrunch. That's a spread. Oh, a scrunch and a spread. Scrunch. And Interesting. Spread. <laughs> some foot knowledge. Listen, you learn all the you. stuff. <laughs> so, you know, you got to learn all the stuff. You got to learn what pegging is. You got to learn what a foot scrunch is. It's just what you know. And you got to learn what the sorry. And w- so, what's the name of the sword? Oh God, I'm about to lose some major game of thrones. Oh, you don't know it. Right oh, now. should we just? I don't. We were just I know you're putting you? me on the spot now. Just unfollowing. <laughs> No, uh, I don't. I really don't know what the name of it is. I know that. I mean, I know that Ned Stark gave it to him. It was no, 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 no. Wow, I just really fucked up. Ned Stark did not give him that sword. It was one of the commanders of the Night Watch that gave him that sword. I wish I had any information to be able to <laughs> fuck with you on this, but I have nothing. I, I'm just going to sit here and watch you so tap dance this thing. I don't know. It's very no, but I'm almost certain that's what it is. It was a, one of the commanders of the Night. Do you need Watch to phone a friend. Him, you need to phone a friend. <laughs> Found a friend. If, um, if this were who wants to be a millionaire question, found I a friend. Just like lost. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, uh, can I eliminate two of the answers, please? <laughs> Whoever now hosts the show, we eliminate two of the answers. <laughs> All right. What's in the? Okay. So I'm looking at your room. What's in the brain? The brain? There's nothing in the brain. No. Well, what's supposed I to be? I used to put brain? my pot in that brain. Yeah. That's, that seems like it would be. What it yeah, be for? Yeah. Like uh, now I keep my pot in a Dragon Ball. It's not that. It's not even that. That's where you should put your pot. It's just that where it is in the house, it's so low that that's, that makes sense. Like that, because that could be a yeah. cookie jar, but that would be somewhere no, near the refrigerator. Yeah, there's nothing in the brain. There's well, just a cluster fuck of things over there. Yeah, yeah. You got you got you got uh, things in the original packaging. So I, I so my those, my those one there. chance at uh, collecting things. Well, no, I had three chances at collecting things, and I collected all the wrong things. So as a child, I was doing the collecting thing. It was baseball cards, and it was I got all the tops baseball cards, and I have all of them still. And they probably have no, they don't have any value. I don't think I like well, for whatever reason they just weren't like it just hasn't appreciated. Mm-hmm. Uh, my grandma bought me a Hess truck every year, so in my head, <laughs> keeping a Hess truck, or at least oh, they told the us they used to come out at Christmas. Yeah, yeah. And they told us, <laughs> uh, and Hess doesn't even exist anymore. It's no. now Speedway. Uh, they told us that those trucks would be worth something. So like, I have all of my trucks, and then my brother has a bunch, and he doesn't want his, and he's at nine years younger than me. So I just took all his trucks, Nick, and I was like, oh, I'll make a double truck money right now, son. <laughs> uh, and then I have one more thing. What did I have? And they had like Matchbox and Hot Wheels cars, which also have no value. So I got real sick by the time by the time it was like uh, I don't know probably like middle school um, what's the next one uh, middle school junior, junior high. high I had a junior high uh, I was just like sick of all of the no like collecting. people would buy yeah they buy me like a like something in the package I, and I was like this to, is no value like I and you know I really regret 
the only thing that I have collecting that's really worth money is I have a lot of original Disney VHSs and their original packaging. Really? Yeah, I have them a lot at my mom's house, and some that's of them worth money. Like the no, the ones that have the gold emblem at yeah. the bottom, they're like first releases. Yeah. No, they're they're worth. Some of them go for like a thousand dollars. No a piece. shit. And so Mom, yeah, where's <laughs> my where's my Aladdin? my aladdin vhs yeah i know uh, if you have like the gold emblem on them they make no money shit. and also uh you know i used to be really big into collecting pokemon cards when i grew yeah up. my brother and the first you know the first run of pokemon cards i think like an original charizard holographic pokemon card from the first generation is worth a couple thousand dollars. no shit Dude, I, I I have Pogs. Are Pogs worth any money? No, but God yeah, damn no. It. So those were interesting. Those were Son of see, I didn't. I was right on the cut. You know, I was born in '93, yep. so like I was kind of like Pogs weren't really yeah, like. Yeah. So a here's thing. what happened with Pogs. I was too old for Pogs, but my grandfather was trying to like be up on what was going on, and he gotta had, commend him on that. Though. And he and he had a Pog. He had like a Pog guy, and <laughs> so whatever the the guy. So the guy that he had, like understood that pogs was like a market but he they were like they were bootleg pogs oh so but he would get us pogs and so like and i was and because it was a collecting i was never like going and like getting i wasn't doing the thing where you throw the slammer and take people's pogs we would just keep them and just put them in a thing and whatever so uh yeah we have like a bunch of bootleg horse shit like peeling off pogs yeah me and my friends used to get into actual very big arguments over like pokemon cards and yeah. when we would do like battles for pokemon cards yeah. and we would lose and we would get really pissed off any situation where uh it causes the kids to eventually punch each other in the face maybe <laughs> maybe isn't the, the healthy my, collection. my my best friend growing up i remember one time i beat her at pokemon stadium and she bit me and i think that was when i was about six years old six where, or so. where, she like bit me where did she bite you like on my arm she just like grabbed it and was like <laughs> yeah my, my little brother had a buddy um i don't know if i should say his name or not his name is peter and here what happened was they had something similar they had like that kind of thing and then this motherfucker and they're you know they're they're yeah they're under 10 and this motherfucker headbutts my little brother <laughs> now my little brother was was born six months early so he was always smaller than everybody and this was like the biggest kid in school and when i say it's not fair for him to headbutt people because of the size of his head. Like it was like his head was three times the size of my brother's <laughs> like head. So it was like it was like an extra. You know what I mean? It was like it was like bringing a gun to a headbutt <laughs> fight is what it felt like. So I was I was so angry, but I was like nine years older. So like I can't I can't be the defender. Of my, I can't beat up a kid yeah. nine years younger than me at any point in my life. That's not okay. No. So it was it was tough. I like I'd never wish to be like eighteen months close you know like within within age of my brother more than that moment because i could go beat this giant head up you know mm -hmm. he got headbutted by pete no <laughs> peter Cuppernall. i don't know peter well Cupernall. things used to get pretty serious when you're a kid i uh, gets fucked up yeah we uh scrapping I'm, I'm trying to think I, I didn't i didn't have a lot of fights as kids you fight people as a kid huh i was a very disruly uh about like six seven eight that's when i had oh, like that was my, your time that was my time uh i actually got kicked out of my kindergarten class because i used to there was this boy who used to always try to sit next sleep next to me during nap time yeah and in kindergarten check your dms I, on instagram i right rolled now. <laughs> i rolled up you know like my like my uh my mat that yeah. i sleep on and i would roll it up and i just like beat him like oh. in the stomach because i didn't want him to like, oh i thought you i thought you like he, got up he and didn't moved want, no because i didn't want him to he would like literally every single day and so i'd literally try to like beat him away yeah and then the same boy he just had it bad for me i guess the same boy we were on the playground all of your stories are about <laughs> how you had to beat men off of you now we now yeah, we get now we get, get, get any easier now we get why you do what you it do it's right it's like ingrained it's as a child clear it's a clear path no you but know? the same boy you were he dunking tried basketballs to... <laughs> michael jordan was dunking basketballs when he was six you were beating boys <laughs> he, he tried to like kiss me on the playground and like basically take my first kiss from yeah. me yeah Take so, it from like, you he, he, it's like, a rape he kiss. like kiss he like kissed me yeah and you were like and then no! i go i like and you punched in the so and many so people i literally i got kicked out of my kindergarten class because my 
teacher couldn't handle me. There was a lot of other yeah. things too. I would get up. I would always walk around. Yeah. And my teacher, she had this apple system that if you were bad, your apple would be on red. If you're good, it'd be on green. Yeah. And my apple She's was just trying to figure always it out. on red. Yeah. But I used to go and take my apple and just apple? put it. I would just move my apple. That's just so because funny. I <laughs> yeah. So my mom used to have this argument with 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 teachers, and it would be she, like the teacher would call and be like, "I don't know what to do with your son." Um, this is for Galette. And my mom now is like, fuck, like walking this lady through like how to be a teacher. And she's like, I don't know, like, do, you know, uh, put him in front of the class. She's like, I did that. He likes it. And he's like, I don't know. All right. Have him go help other kids. Like, you know, like like my mom's like, what do you want? Like, I'm not a teacher. What do you want me to do? <laughs> like, I, I get it. I ha he comes home to me. I get it. But this is your job. So you got to figure it out. So yeah, I was always I was disruptive, and then I was I was definitely the, the, the po problem child. Yeah. Uh, even all throughout, like it didn't change when I got to like middle school because when I was middle school, I went to like you know a pretty preppy uh, a school that was like I lived on the line of okay if you uh, live here you know you go to this school you yeah. here I lived right in the fucking middle. So could you decide? So, um, no, basically the county decided for you. So they sent me to the preppy rich school and oh, okay. I didn't have money. I wasn't, yeah. you know, I didn't have nice things. This was a middle school where girls so we were like nice wearing Louis Vuitton purses and yeah. stuff. And they were in middle school. Yeah. And I'm wearing them. Is that, is that the correct? Is that, <laughs> yeah. The, you're, I, you wear you carry them as a color wear it. Yeah. I'm wearing it. Whatever. I don't you know, know. I know. So, no I, and I had like bright pink hair and yeah. wore rainbow suspenders. Yeah. And so you could imagine what my middle school yeah. experience is like. <laughs> yeah, I was like this, you know, goth girl who was in a rebel. And, oh, that's great. Yeah, and I was just in that environment. Were you punching them too? Well, like verbally, <sighs> I was very just. I had to kind of be on the defensive all the time. Yeah, because I, you know, because they thought. Well, that's the in that environment. They thought the norm was. Yeah. Great. And well, I also thing. at the time I also had a girlfriend. And you embrace so you so were embracing not the norm. Yeah, I had a, I had a an, girlfriend an who went to the same school. Yeah. I had this like you know I was like a little goth girl whatever, and so it was just my middle school was literally hell, and I was so thankful that you ju you've just been crushing life the whole time. <laughs> like you're telling these stories, you're like, listen, uh, it was terrible. I had this fucking beautiful girlfriend. <laughs> I was the only girl in school who was goth. I was at this rich school, and I I don't have nothing. And then these I see I see these people for who they are. I understand the world. I'm punching <laughs> boys because they're trying to sleep next to me. And you're like, oh, my poor life. You know what? I've had enough of this. <laughs> you're doing fine. OK, you're doing fine. Look, you got you got all these anime. Oh, no, not, it's not it's not complaining. No, I mean, no, I think everybody has a shitty middle school yeah, or nobody, high school experience. Nobody, nobody likes, it. nobody liked well, high school. And if school. they did love it, then they don't love their life have a now. Exactly. Because they didn't, the people that had the value, way too good of an experience Because the thing that they were trying school. to value, do, do, they found out later, has no value. No. So. No. Look, I think it was a good podcast. Um, <laughs> we do, I do have to, I, we do have to wrap uh, of course. soon. Um, where do you want people to follow you? What do you want them to do? I mean, we're saying well, that I would we say basically Twitter, just but we basically just just demean Twitter. So don't nobody don't get on how. Twitter. Well, um, my what's Twitter, your Twitter? My Twitter is at Raquel Roper XX. You probably won't be able to find me there. Uh, you can find Instagram well, is well, the same thing. Here's the trick: you, you, you if if you Google it outside oh, of it, yes, then you Google. then you can get in. Google. So um, Google it outside, and then you can get in. Yeah. Follow her there. Twitter's only going to last according to her for another <laughs> like five or six days. Uh, so just get on board now while you can. And then there's Instagram, and that's at Raquel Roper XX. And then, of course, you can check out my websites, which are MissRoper.com, AllAboutTheBooty.com, and IWantRoper.com. And spend money. And spend money. Spend money. AllAboutTheBooty.com. AllAboutTheBooty.com. Raquel Roper. MissRoper.com. MissRoper.com. And IWantRoper.com. And IWantRoper.com. Sorry, I wasn't even listening to my own thing that was happening. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Porn Stars Are People podcast. Uh, we're on iTunes. We're on Google Play. We're on Stitcher. Uh, a bunch of the other places where you can find podcasts, Podbean, all of that type of thing. SoundCloud. Wherever you're listening to us, we're on the other thing, too. We got some content on YouTube. SoundCloud. You don't do music. <laughs> listen, don't listen. I don't have all. I don't have the technology. I'm not. I'm not blocking people. I'm just giving away the. I told you, I'm giving the content away. I just want them to have it. Uh, we're we we put some videos in YouTube until we talk about uh, pegging, and then we're gonna get taken Fuck down. You so you got like a day and a half to watch us on YouTube and see the episode, see the broken blinds. Um, 
<laughs> Why do you keep ragging on I my I don't know. That's the only blinds. thing I have. They can't see. That's the only thing I can my see. Blinds. I realize. Your poor, <laughs> broken blind blinds. <laughs> oh, my God. The cops are coming. I can see oh, clearly no. oh because God, the holes really are really got to wrap it up now. Uh, so thank you for listening. Thank you for being on the episode. Um, keep listening, guys. Thank you so much for, for being uh, fans. <laughs>